Top Spotlight, brought to you by Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. Hey everyone, I'm Adam Harry from Bell Boss Souls Tabletop News with... Evan from Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. And we're back with another Tabletop Spotlight. And Evan has brought a creepy looking game yeah, today. Yeah, this is Endangered Orphans of Condal Cove. Whoa. Each player, uh, up to three, is playing an orphan who's running away from the boogeyman. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm laughing, but it's still creepy. And it's nightmarish. It's, it's yeah. creepy. Uh, basically, the last orphan to live wins. So it's a little bit of a brutal game. Uh, yeah. You're trying to, you know, do things to get your other orphan players uh, <laughs> captured by the boogeyman. It's terrible. Uh, but yeah, it's a really cool terrible mechanic. Awesome. You're building yeah. a map kind of with cards. Okay. And uh, yeah, it comes with the minis. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking at the back pieces. of the box yeah. here. Like, the minis are pretty cool looking. Yeah, the art and, style's yeah. very creepy. Um, it's, so. it's, it's cartoony, yet creepy. Yeah, uh, creepy cartoony. Yeah, I, I, I'm cartoony. very curious about this. Especially because, uh, I don't know when you're watching the video, but it just came out pretty recently, and um, it just seems appropriate. Yeah. I don't know why. Uh, yeah, creepy. Anyway. Yeah, very creepy. Uh, <laughs> can't wait. Let's look inside. I'm going to get this from right here. Endangered Orphans of Condyle, Con Condyle? Condyle. Condyle Cove. Yes. Sorry. Endangered Orphans of Condale Cove. Yes. Condale Cove. I'm Look at this creepy art. It's very cool. It's like it's a black box and it has this like glossy color yeah. to it. Kind of makes the uh, yeah the the guy pop out the the boogeyman. The boogeyman. Let's get the back orphan. real quick. Here is the back. This is what we were saying earlier about the art style. I really I'm digging that art style. Yeah, Just, it's very cool. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna see it comes with the minis, a bunch of cards. Uh, you ready to open it up? Yeah, man. Yeah, let's I do mean, it. I mean, do we really? It's like Pandora's box. Let's yeah. Open this thing. Well, yeah. The boogeyman's gonna come out. Yeah. Yeah. You know. uh, <laughs> ah! So, <All> right. <laughs> uh, we have. Let's see what this is. The game cold, instructions. Terrible basics of the game. Yeah. So that's just the <laughs> rule book. We'll come back through those. That's the solitary, uh, so, you know, solo game variant yeah. of the game. So we'll come to that again mm -hmm. later. All right. We'll come back through that. That's the solo play. Look at these. Let's go ahead. Look at these little minis. <laughs> they actually have a good weight to it. Like, yeah, they look a little back. like uh, Charlie Brown esque. They're hard plastic. Yeah, I can't even get this guy out. Uh, really cool though. You know, color coordinated, yeah. and then of course this this box set comes with the uh, the solo variant uh, for Whoa. the game, which is the Boogeyman, and you have like a little bust for him. That is uh, super cool looking, man. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Good look weight at that. to it. Yeah, that is super cool. I kind of want to paint that. And That'd just, be cool. Yeah. Yeah, it is a hard plastic. It's got a little bit of a give to it, but... Yeah, not too much, yeah. though. Yeah. Uh, we have Punch-Outs. Uh, these are for if you're playing the three-player version of the game. Okay. Or two or three-player version. But we've got the minis with this box. Yeah, set, exactly. So. Uh, these are cool. These are play mats, uh, which I'll go ahead and open up if you Here, want I'll keep going, yeah. yeah. Keep going. We've got the little standees for the, uh, the Punch-Outs we saw yeah. for the three kids. And then uh, we've got a couple of different decks. This is like an options deck, which I don't know what that's for. And then a Cove deck. Um, so, and, uh, as Evan mentioned, you're kind of building, uh, the map out. So yeah. that's what the code deck's probably for. Yeah, and the code deck, so the code deck is going to be, like, a little map. I like to think of it as, like, Betrayal, a house on the hill. It's not, it's not rooms in a, a house, but there are areas, like a cemetery. Oh, yeah, yeah, Or yeah. the highway or something like that. And each, each cove, uh, is going to have a different ability. Do you want to open um, one? Yeah, or? I'll open okay. this deck. Because uh, it you... looks like some of the options are actually in the code yes. deck, so. Yeah. yeah. Let's go ahead and just open this deck up. Pull that, one, pull that one out there. And then while you're doing that real fast, yes. just to make sure there's no hidden surprises, there's nothing underneath the vacuum-formed uh, storage box. Which we do appreciate, by the way, right. right when the games do that. And I wanted so. to go back real quick. These are player mats. They're very nice. Ooh. Like They're like actual mat material, like something from Magic like Gathering. Like a mouse pad. Yeah, yeah. and uh, so you have your discard pile, your option deck, which is kind of your action card you have. Uh, and each player gets one, so there's four in total. Oh, nice. Different colors for each one. The different styles, too. Yeah, okay, well, it's for each different mini, I think. Yeah. Let's show those off real quick. All right, it doesn't matter which mini yeah. it is, but yeah. Uh, that is that's neat. This one as well. It's a nice touch right there. Oh, very nice, yeah. Yeah. All right, so let's go into these cards real quick. There's cove cards. These yeah. are the locations. Um, now, in the center of the board, I don't know if it's going to be in this deck. We'll, we'll turn it like that, and you can kind of show it. But there is going to be the Boogeyman's house. Yeah, it's not in this deck. Uh, and it's going to be on the center of the board. On each side of the card... Just pretend that one's the Boogeyman's. Yeah, yeah. On each side of the card, you're going to put down a cove card. So we have the cemetery, the woods, the hills, and the, the open, open field. field. Now, each one's going to do a different ability, like the woods. You may not be moved by another player. Because uh, there are cards that can say, hey, move another player somewhere else. Okay. Each player has a different move. Uh, or has a move, I think, of one or two. 
but there are cards that give you, you know, bonus move. Uh, you want to move around to try to keep away from the boogeyman. I get it. Yeah. I get it. However, you can visit the boogeyman's place if you have to, and you can use something called an act of desperation. There are six total. Um, they're going to be on the side of the board. Now, these are, if you are running low on option cards, these are kind of your life, your option cards. Okay, okay. Each player starts with the same amount, uh, and once you run out, you're dead. Oh, so, yeah. you can, you for an option, options. for you can option, you can go to the boogeyman's house and instead choose to use one of the acts of desper desperation, which kind of act like an option card, but they could be very bad. So, uh, meet me under the AC, for instance, move another player to some spaces, uh, some space as you, same space as you and end your turn. Or you may add one to your move phase this turn. However, in one of these cards, Act of Desperation, you will find the Boogeyman, which means Ooh. you just lose automatically. So You're these these cards are risky. There's only six of them, so you have one in six chance of yeah, drawing yeah. that Boogeyman. That but is, it's, yeah, creepy. Option cards, which are your kind of lifeblood, uh, their actions and stuff. Detour, you can replace any cove card with this one and then place that cove card in a new spot of your choice does stuff it, like that do these move out at all uh are yeah only four so you time? when you add more coves you can add them on oh. to go in. yeah so it's kind of building a map in a way okay um okay, cool, each cool. turn more coves would be added stuff like that uh yeah Sweet. and that's kind of the basis of the game yeah pretty cool uh let's go ahead and just slide on over yeah. this, these card instructions uh, i mean evan just explained the game basically much. yeah let's go ahead and, and blow through these real quick because uh, there, there are only four pages of, of rules, and a lot of that's like clarification anyway. So um, there you go. We talked about that. There's 38 option cards. There's yes. the Coley Sack. Uh, that's the, the Cincher. Yes. Um, cinch, per, potentially perilous Cincher of the Cove. Yeah. Acts of Desperation. We talked about those. So, I mean, like I said, Evan covered pretty much everything. <laughs> there's the Cove cards. Yeah. Uh, which there's nine Cove cards. That's the created. Player created board, so you're gonna have a different game pretty much every time. Oh yeah, it, it, like I said, it's a lot like you know uh, Betrayal at House on the Hill. You, well, yeah, you're building out the board, it's gonna be totally different every single time. Yeah, and there's there's rules on how to place them and everything like that, and then option cards and how those all work. So yeah, it's a it's, very simple game. Like yeah. that, the rules were what four pages? Yeah, not even. This is this is more FAQ stuff. Yeah, to, to answer turn order. Very simple so. game. Most of the rules in the game come from the cards themselves. Now this is the solitary option. I want to go over this one real quick because it's it is a slightly different setup. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I actually I, I want to read this real quick because it's uh, they have like a little inner monologue voice yeah. on the setup. There's a bunch of setup to get going, but don't get your jammies in a wad. It's not as bad as it seems. <laughs> Take heed! The solo play version uses only the core set of Endangered Orphans cards, plus the three designed for solo play only. And we should so. say that this game, this box, uh, yeah. comes with three expansions. Yeah, I was going to say, we said we said earlier it was one of three players. Yeah. But that's because this box... It, can you put the lid on real quick? I want yeah, to show the yeah, yeah. Real quick. That's because this particular box actually comes with those expansions so uh the ghost of benny harris expansion the last winter expansion fourth player expansion and a boogeyman solo play figure so you can use this boogeyman for the solo yeah. play so and it's got the condo cove core game yes so yeah that's yeah. what this box is now so pretty cool stuff um yeah so this is the solo play mm -hmm. um it's got some special cards in there yeah, the the boogeyman actually has his own um, move deck as well. Yeah, so it's kind of a it plays kind itself. Of an AI yeah, thing. AI thing. Yeah, so the object of the game is to Alice the boogeyman, who's hot on your trail. You win if the boogeyman runs out of his option deck, or you lose, uh, or you use all five of the acts of desperation. So, uh, yeah, it's a one in th one in six chance to draw the boogeyman cards. Yeah, so I guess you can try to do it. <laughs> But uh, it's a pretty risky, so um, you lose if the boogeyman catches you, obviously. Uh, if you have no orphan, orphan option cards left, excuse me, to draw during the draw phase of your turn. And then just regular play stuff there. And this is, this again, there's a couple caveats here, but that's only really yeah. a couple more uh, two pages of rules. Yeah, and it goes over the expansions as well. So yeah. And then last winter and things like that. So Not rule happy for this game. No. no. Yeah. It's, it's mostly set up. Yeah, <laughs> really it is. Yeah. So, um, yeah, this game Very looks cool. really cool. Uh, again, creepy, cartoony. Uh, I like it. Um, and the gameplay looks pretty quick and simple to learn. So, yeah, uh, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm interested, man. All right. Let's get this one. Let's crank this one out. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and hop out for a really quick recap. Well, that was the Endangered Orphans of Condal Cove. Uh, pretty creepy. Yeah, I mean, I like it. 
uh, the mechanics were fun. Yeah. First off, mm-hmm. but um, it's it's creepy. It's yeah. cartoony creepy, like yeah. I said earlier. Um, I don't I don't know some of that. It's, <laughs> it's kind of charming. Yeah, I don't know, it's uh, got a little charm to it. Yeah, because uh, the little cute minis for the orphans. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. So, yeah. The, if you think about the concept, eh, it's it's really creepy. But again, it's it's got that charm. I play a game called Don't Starve. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Very, it's very much the same art style. Yeah, yeah very, very similar, similar to that. Yeah. I like it. My wife digs that art style, yeah, too, very so cool. pretty, pretty pumped. Uh, anyway, enough about that. Let's crunch some numbers on this one real fast. Yes. Uh, this is, uh, again, Endangered Orphans. How many players are we looking at again? Uh, it is one to four players. So the base game has two or three players. This comes with a solo version, Boogeyman, right. and a fourth player expansion. So, so we do want to call it out. Um, if you get just the core box, because there's different versions. Yeah. Least, if you get the core box, that one's... One to three players. Yes. Well, this is actually the core box. Okay. Uh, so this is the only box you can buy. It included right the expansions. Yeah. This is oh, like okay. the new version okay. of the game. Gotcha, gotcha. The expansions. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I thought I saw a different box for it. Was yeah. Just, anyway, so this box in particular, one to four players. Yes. Because it has expansions. Yes. Uh, it is ages 14 and up. Yep. So, again, subject matter maybe? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Orphans not weird. trying to die. Uh, <laughs> What's the runtime on this 10 one? 10 to 30 minutes, not a very long game. No, it's not. Um, yeah, and yeah. it's uh, 49.99, which is not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. Again, because you get all the extra expansions and stuff in there now. Yeah. So this is the new set for this. Version so. of it, yeah. Um, and this one is, this version at least, yes, is brand, brand new. Yes, brand new in stores right now. Yeah. Sweet. So go check that out. It's perfect for October coming yeah, up. Yeah, October, some scary movies coming scary out. Movies. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm Adam Harry from Bulls. I'm Evan from Dragon's Lair Comics and Fans. And this has been another Tabletop Spotlight. Thanks again for watching. Tabletop Spotlight brought to you by Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. Thanks for watching.